Hello, my name is Simonize, and welcome to another Simonize stream. Today we're playing on my main rogue right here, Simonize Show. And we're going to be doing a quick little old war 10 man. Uh, this is my most geared rogue. I've got Comet's Trail, I've got a Blade Twister here, we've already got Soul Devouring Cinch, but we are still looking for a couple items out of 10 man. We'd really like to see a Dark Matter, a Band of Lights, a Loop of the Agile. Pa potentially a fluxing energy coils off of XT would be great. Um, if you're here on YouTube, be sure to go down below the video and hit a subscribe on the VODs channel. Uh, like the video if you like watching these VODs on YouTube. And if you're here on Twitch, uh, welcome. Thanks for being here and let's have a good raid. Hello, Bright Falls. How's it going? I was able to find a 10-man group for tonight. I know this wasn't on the stream schedule, but I couldn't... I couldn't get my all my runs like scheduled right away this week. So this was this was the only unscheduled one. Let me take a quick moment and put the stream alerts out on some other discords. One and two. I was reading some drama threads on the Benediction Discord. And I really wanted to just read one of those drama threads and react to it on stream. But I decided that was probably a bad idea because I didn't have any good way to censor all the names. Um, and if I like shit talk someone for being an idiot in a drama thread, then they might. Um, yeah. I mean, the drama threads are fucking hilarious to read, but that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Ganja the Troll, hello, how's it going? What is up? Let's see, raid starting around 8 is the scheduled time for it. What days do you play your combat rogue? Ah, uh, let's see. This week, I did... Combat on Tuesday with the guild in 25 man, and then we're gonna do 10 man on the combat rogue in... Friday, tomorrow. Make a channel prediction so I can get your gambling in. Okay, okay, hang on. Hang on, I got you. Prediction, start prediction. Will Iron Foe drop? Okay. We're going right into it with an Iron Foe run, guys. We got plenty of time before the actual Ulduar raid starts, so... Mole machine directly into black rock depths. I guess YouTube would be better because of algorithms there. Pendergast, uh, YouTube tends to monetize VOD content better than Twitch does. So if you don't care either way, uh, yeah, watch them on YouTube. Uh, but really, you know, Part of the reason they're on Twitch and on YouTube is because some people just like watching on YouTube and some people just like watching on Twitch. And now it's now it's in both places. Uh, okay, what? A fine longsword? Okay. Uh, obviously, we do these runs with glaives equipped. Because why wouldn't we? We've got our boots equipped and our this equipped. Okay. How fast can we go, though? That's the real question. Okay, ready, set, go. Gotta go to the subtlety tab, because we gotta pickpocket the key off of... Got it. On stealth. We're moving, we're moving. Wait, no, we'll get Blue Hands buff before starting the Old War run. And then probably- Oh, shit. I pulled that guy. And we vanish. It's fine. Sometimes you can get through there without stealthing. Other times you can't. Uh, we'll get Blue Hands buff uh, before doing Old War. And then probably die on Flame Leviathan. Okay, slightly inefficient routing... There we go. Oh, did I jump too early? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm gonna make it. Made it. Okay, switch. 
There we go. Blue hands buff is the eight piece bonus of your uh, bone scythe armor from old Nax Ramus. It it doesn't really do much, but it just looks cool. Okay, where's the red boys? We're looking for the red boys. See any over there? Oh wait, I saw one. Saw one like right over here. Flame Keeper. There we go. Target acquired. Nice. Didn't even aggro anything else. Okay, we still need to find one more Flame Keeper. Ooh, right there. Fan of knives. Get them. Okay, we've got two torches. Making good time. I think we got a 344 last time we did this. Do this here. We're going to use Killing Spree to kill Magmus quicker. And we'll use Sprint to get to Magmus. And then we'll use Boot to go from Magnus to Emperor Dagrin Tharason. Good. Eliminated. Boot. Right at the end of the boot, we do a jump, so we preserve that speed for just a little bit extra distance. Okay, we're coming up to Emperor Dagger and Tharzin. Adrenaline Rush, Blade Flurry. Slice. Boom, that's a 328. Nice. 328 is pretty good. Go back here. Otherwise, they won't all line of sight to me. See, look at these bitches down there. They're just chilling out there. Okay. Now we gotta kill them. Wait. I don't have poisons on. Mm, I'm not really dealing a lot of damage to these guys, actually. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. No one can stop the power of the Warglaives. Boom. And boom. Okay. Now, for the loot on the Emperor. How are we looking on this prediction here? We're looking at about 4% believers by points. Uh, eight people, but only 4% of the points being uh, predicted. Uh, okay, now we're 10 to 10, 11 to 10 on people. Uh, still very skewed on total point distribution. I'm going to close this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Closed. What's it going to be? Iron Foe or no? Dreadforge Retaliator, that vendor's for 5 gold 81, that's pretty good. Some Rune Cloth. Tharison Family Jewels. No Iron Foe, though, that's unfortunate. Am I not allowed to loot her? Okay. Uh, unlucky, you guys. Where'd it go? Law cookies, you're having trouble with your comet's trail. I don't know what weak aura or tracking met method you're using, but you can find all the add-ons and weak auras that I use uh, on the Discord. Weak aura 
Will you buy a Shadow Morn, Mr. Simon? I don't know. I don't have any characters that... Well, the Death Knight kind of uses it, but the Death Knight's kind of bad. I don't know if the Death Knight will be in, in any functional state to buy a Shadow Morn come Ice Crown Citadel. Okay, I gotta look on the guild discord. Okay. Fine long sword. Did I sell anything? Uh, okay, Thorison family jewels can potentially have some really good stuff in it. Never saw why you go to BRD for Iron Foe. You using it for fan of... No, I'm just using it for the fun. People always think that, like, everything I do in this game is, like, for pumping Big Dam or something, or there's some sneaky thing I'm doing. Sometimes you just collect and shit because it's fun and cool. What the hell is going on with this bag? Alright, we send all the gems over to Simon Bank, and we'll sell them from there. Mm. There we go. Dexteris, hello, hello, hello. Why are you not an ogre right now? Um, because I don't have any ogre suits on this character. It's pummel. It's like they didn't watch your new vid. <laughs> That's fair. The new vid, uh, the, the, um, <laughs> well, wait, no, not the newest, but the one before that is basically a bunch of super degenerate, um, marginal DPS increases. So I guess it's fair to expect that I'm chasing after some other marginal DPS increase. Well, I thought this was the raid channel. You're talking about, like, dark matters and stuff. Okay. Well, there's going to be a raid in 18 minutes. Uh, no, I think DJ is leading. God damn it. I don't want a raid lead. I... Okay, fine. All right, I'm in voice chat with some of the raiders that I'm going to be raiding with, and we're arguing about who's going to actually take the initiative to even form the group. Wait. I've never installed a... Wait, is MRT an auto-inviter add-on? Uh, dude. They got me. Okay, so I installed... Okay, so I was trying to not do the invites for the raid, right? But we got this new add-on for the guild called Method Raid Tools. And apparently one of the default enabled functions is auto inviting anyone who whispers you INV um and so someone did that and I didn't think I was going to auto invite them because I didn't know that was a default feature of the add-on
Daddy Simonized for Raid Lead. What's your favorite boss in Aldwar? General Vizax. And you know why it's General Vizax? It's because that boss is simple as fuck for melees, and it's hilarious to just sit there and watch and see if the range DPS grief or not. It's very chill for melee, and you just sit there and see if a range DPS is gonna pull aggro. See if the ranged DPS are going to heal the boss for 2 million health. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I just trashed that idea. It seemed like too much effort. Uh, Melee can screw it up also by not landing kicks. Yeah, but kicks are rarely assigned to a rogue. Oh, wait, shit, I need to... I might need to... I might need to spec sub for this raid. Let's go for the boss armor set. Yeah. Oh, we gotta... Here we go. Did you get a new headset? No. Same one as always. Still broken, glue or er, foam padding still uh, separating from the plastic. Big pog damage. Ooh, Stabby Clap coming in with a tier one. Four months of support says, thanks for all the great guides and streams as a combat enjoyer who just got golden Serenite Dragon. I especially appreciate the combat stuff. Helps me a lot. Hell yeah. Simon I show. I'm streaming. Yikes. Uh can we expect any hat changes this raid? No, I usually keep it one hat per stream. Unless something wild's going on. Uh, done. Okay, try the invites again. Okay, I said it's a temp player. Got him. It was my plan all along. You wrote the combat rogue guide on Wowhead. Yeah, and actually, okay, check this out. Wowhead rolled out a new feature today, which I'm totally stoked on, okay? Look at this. Okay, guides, classes, rogue, whatever, assassination, uh, phase one. Look at this. Whoopsies, wait. Live, look at right at the top, it says live on Twitch. Then it's got follow to Discord, follow to Twitch, follow to um, YouTube, and you just click. And it's like, holy shit, look at that. Dude, it's going, it's going deeper. There's delay. <laughs> we're at, we're at three levels deep. We're at four levels deep now. Five. Six? I don't think I can render anything even smaller than that. One. One, two, three. Okay, it's over. It's over. I'm done with this. It's getting too wild.
Do, 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 do. Nobody ever goes to your Discord without asking a dumb question in chat before. It's okay. We could just ask a dumb question, and then you tell them the answers on the Discord, and then either they never talk to you again, and it's fine, or they join the Discord, and it's also fine. Is your mount still available? Oh, uh, this Proto Drake? Yeah, it's from 10 Man Nax Ramus Achievements. Uh, you can still get it. Yeah. Do you make the guides of pure enjoyment? Nope. Uh, Wowhead pays their writers. They pay them well. So I, you know, I take pride in making those guides as good as I can. What pieces do rogues replace in TOC? Is there a video for this? Bro, there isn't even a PTR scheduled for TOC yet. You really don't need to win. People getting ahead of the curve here a bit. Um, I I've seen a couple like, prepare for phase three. You need to do this before phase three videos cropping up on YouTube. And it's like, bro, what the hell is going on? There's, there's not even a PTR scheduled for <laughs> phase three yet. We'll be making a jousting guide? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got at least one person who's logging in right at eight. But we had like 12 people sign up. Three druid, 10 man tech? Yeah. Look, it's. Well, Bell Drew, I'm pretty sure his moonkin. Alkbear, I know, is feral. Maybe Belly Shift is resto. Or we have two moonkins, and that's fine too. Is it a GDKP? No, this is just gonna be a guild group. Um. Assuming we actually get 10 people here, and then we'll just roll for loot. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I've got two 10-man GDKPs and one 25-man GDKP scheduled this week. There'll be 10-man on combat Friday, tomorrow. 10-man on assassination Saturday. And then 25-man on Sunday. Finally, I'm up to watch you live from Sweden. Keep Ocarina of Timing. Ooh, this is close. Close. This is Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask uh, uh, soundtrack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Recently started some doing some GDKP and now I have 13k. Feels like robbery getting to pump and being traded 5k. GDKP is just a good loot format. There's a bunch of just like people that are mad commenting on my videos on YouTube. They're like, fucking GDKP ruined the game. It's all gold buyers and this and you can only get in the raid if you have a hundred thousand. It's like, these are people who've never participated in GDKP. It's just a loot format. It's not the end of World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, like, there are some of the runs that I go to regular that are, like, really juiced runs. Like, a lot of people have a lot of gold. 
And then there's other ones where shit just goes for like 500 or a thousand gold and it's like no big deal. And I think a lot of the people on YouTube get kind of the wrong impression because the GDKPs that have million gold pots and single items going for 200 or 300,000 gold, uh, those are the ones that get the most attention and the most views, and they're like the most visible to the community that doesn't actually participate in GDKP themselves. Um, so like they get this wrong perception that that's how all GDKP is, and it's like, um, well, no. <laughs> But really, the main thing I like about GDKP is everyone walks away with something valuable for their time. Where cut was gold cap? I haven't seen one that big. Uh, I've got the highest payout was uh, I got was like just over 40k for one run that was like the most juiced that was the most juiced run i've been in 86 how's it going just wait until you go to a gdkp where nothing valuable drops then nobody gets anything valuable <laughs> yep 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 that does happen 40k yeah that's like a 1.2 million gold payout or pot and then like a 15 percent host cut then divided 25 ways Actually, we could calculate that backwards. So 40,000 times 25. So that's the payout per person. And then the payout per person is only 85% of the total pot. So you divide that by 0.85. See the total pot. Yeah, that's all you need for total pot to make a 40k payout at a 15% toast cut. Uh, I've, for two weeks in the super juiced run, um, nothing good for my character has dropped. Uh, anyways, for two weeks in a row where, where nothing actually good dropped, uh, and I was just essentially leeching payouts. I mean, it's like, well, what else do you want me to do? Because, like, nothing good drops. I, I now have more than gold cap. And, uh... I can't put all of my gold on one character. So I, like, come to the GDKP with 200,000 gold, and then I have, like, 30,000 gold in my mailbox or something. That group had a Comet's Trail drop once... And at the time, I only had 166,000 gold, and it sold for 190,000 gold. Hello. Uh, DJ, I made you raid leader. I was just making invites. Uh, we got 11 people. I'm not sure what spec anyone is. And I think Belju said they were just joining in case they were needed. So that could be an easy bench if everyone else wants to come. That's about the level of information I have right now. I need to talk to the Twitch chatters some more right now. I need to deal with you guys. I was handing off my responsibilities. <laughs> We clear under two hour. This is the music for the Zora Zone from Ocarina of Time. No, it still says Majora's Mask. We're towards the end of the Maj I only have like 40 minutes of Majora's Mask in the playlist though.
Uh, did they use the same music for Zora Zone? I mean, it's very similar. They, I, I think for most of the Zelda games, they make like slight variations to the themes. Like there's a bunch of different versions of Gerudo Valley theme, of Hyrule Field theme, of uh, Zora Zone theme. Okay, we're gonna go and try to help clear. <laughs> Dumb combat enjoyer question. How slash when does Fan of Knives become viable on two targets? Did you say it was a combat? It's just there's two targets and then you like stop building combo points for rupture. You just like maintain your slice with one pointers and send the rest of your energy into Fan of Knives. It's just like two targets is all it takes for that to be more efficient than Sinister Strikes and Ruptures. Have you ever soaked Algalon Big Bang? Uh, yes. I've both used Subtlety Cheat Death and I've used like Faint plus Cloak of Shadows in a normal assassination build with like a Priest Shield. Blasted. Get out of here, old war colossus. You like Zelda? Yeah, absolutely. Love me some uh, Ocarina of Time, some Majora's Mask. Uh, I think the last Zelda game I had, uh, Wind Waker, I did Twilight Princess. I don't have any of the newer consoles, though. My newest Nintendo console is a GameCube. Pains, how's it going? Oh, shit. It went to the next track. Oblivion soundtrack? Hell yeah. GameCube, best cube. True. Completely true. Big pog damage. Okay, we've... Oh, there's a Colossus back there. We gotta destroy it. It's fighting one of the Demolishers. Weenus coming in with a Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Weenus. Okay, let's see. Tricks, eviscerate, expose. Uh, let's see. And then it's looking like one of the rogues will soak Big Bang. Uh, no stealth. Do you have your subtlety specs set up? Uh, okay, I, I don't have it as either of my specs right now. I can go respec it also. Uh, but if you want to do it, that's fine. Okay. I uh, do not need boot blade. Drop 
Okay. I think the way it's gonna go is no stealth's gonna subtlety for Algalon, and then I might end up playing combat. Do I wanna play combat and expose? Or do I want to play assassination? I already told no stealth to go respec, so we can't. We're that's what we're doing. So we're probably gonna have exposed duty. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so let's switch up. We'll probably just play combat. Um, and we're going to have to change the glyphs. Because no stealth... Okay, they're they're debating on what the hell is going on. Uh, they want to like swap particular people in for particular bosses, and they're figuring out if they have like the right composition to even kill Algalon. Uh, no stealth. Your main specs uh, assassin, right? Okay, then I'll just run my combat build and I'll do the exposes here. And then you get the subtlety on Alg. Okay. Did you beat your fastest run? Uh, I mean, yesterday we got a run at one minute, one hour, 23 minutes, and that was our second run. And the first run was failed, basically, didn't complete. So, uh, yes. We, our fastest run is 123. That's what we did. Okay, update the stream title so it says we're doing combat. Look at our combat gear set. A little bit worse. This should go there, though. Uh, save that. 27 expertises. Unlucky. I don't want that many expertises. Hmm. Okay, and if we are going to do expose, we need a different talent setup. Or glyph setup, I mean. We want expose. We want faint. And I would actually really like to have a slice and dice glyph. Uh, no stealth. Can you gri- Oh, you just got summoned. Damn. Alright, I'm, I'm configuring my glyphs so I can do the, the expose. We get these- Everything, uh, configured properly. Okay. Uh, so basically, when I'm doing expose- the, the really the most comfortable way I've figured out to do it is to run both Expose and Slice Glyph. And with Expose Glyph and Slice Glyph, I can maintain almost full uptime on Rupture, Expose, and Slice without much difficulty. Uh, that leaves me one Glyph slot remaining. And, like, for individual output, it's like Killing Spree is very obviously better, but I tend to prefer using... Killing Spree. Or, sorry, I tend to prefer... Killing Spree is better. I tend to prefer using Faint because the de defensive is just valuable. Drive which one? Okay. 
Uh, am I launching or just blasting? Okay. Okay, we're just blasting. I'm going in on Flame Leviathan. Yeah, dude, I got a comet like two weeks ago, and uh, now I got blood. But we're looking to upgrade the blood into a dark matter. <laughs> Runestone would be like for a combat spec. So it's like an off spec item. I definitely want it, but like if someone uses it as main spec. I mean, I switch my spec back and forth in the speed run, so I do. I mean, I'm in combat sometimes. Okay, we're blasting. Brightfall says, "Grats on first completed run." The first completed run. It even involved just um wiping on Oriaya. We're out of range right now. Okay, I think I can start blasting. Trying to move towards some of this. High right. So I can actually be restocked. Okay, looking good. How do you, uh, tank peeked around the corner just a little bit too early and got pounced by all the cats at once and died. And all the tricks were preloaded on the tank, so then we didn't have any tricks of the trade to, like, put threat on the backup tank. So then, like, six people died in the first, like, five seconds. It was a bit ugly. Uh, that lost us, like, six or eight minutes, roughly. Um, looking at the VOD. And we still came in with a one hour 23. So, like, for our first, like, proper completed run, uh, pretty happy with that time. Uh, there's a lot of, like, strategies that we can use, like double pulling certain trash packs or pulling certain trash into bosses, stuff like that, that could uh, definitely speed us up. But we weren't trying to implement them on our first run. You know, we were just trying to, like, minimize downtime and get a move on. Got two big plants attacking Simon's demo. Good. Just gonna blast here. We got a lot of nearby pyrite. So we can just send it. Is the buff Kirin Tor ring viable slash used often? It's not best in slot, but it's better than a lot of stuff you had access to um, in phase one. Can't interrupt that. We need more pyrite. Okay, good. We got some pickups. Oh, look at all this pyrite, and it's a system shutdown, and we're in range. Let's just blast. Pie right, pie right, pie right, pie right. Let's go. What do we have? We got the twirlers. Pie right infuser, actually not good for us. Actually passing on a trinket. Insane. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're going directly into XT. We're on combat mode tonight. Forget to engineer boss. Don't worry about it. Keller says you like the Demo Warlock voice pack. I I really like that one, too. And 
frankly, I would have quit my warlock a long time ago if it wasn't for that uh, voice pack. It, uh, I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, let's see. We got an insta poison here. Then deadly poison there. Then we do this. And then we do this. And then we got to set up. Hang on. Our tricks of the trade on copy character name. Right over here. Save that. And then copy character name. Oh, that one's still correct. Okay, we're good. We're good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go on XT Deconstructor. Slice re up. Expose re up. And we're holding cooldowns for heart here. Good. Okay. Expose heart. Slice up. Blade flurry. Speed potion. Killing spree. Uh, too much energy, though. Not perfect. Oh, he's dead already. What the fuck was that? I was not even paying attention. Okay. Want to give our warlock tricks? Slice refresh. Good. Oh, wait, that was the wrong thing. Fuck. I wasn't. I was supposed to do a one slice, uh, but I built too many combo points. Now I'm just kind of screwed up. Oh, we're going to drop Expose for about one second. So slice refresh. Now we'll build for as big of a rupture as we can do. We can do a five point. Yeah, that's fine. One point. And one point. And build for rupture. Uh, oh, this is... We screwed up a little bit. We're fine. We got ruthlessness points. Okay. There we go. This is clean. Rupture. Into slice. Into expose. We keep doing our feints on cooldown. That hybrid fan of knives build you were talking about on YouTube months ago, is that still viable? It's still viable if you're using it exactly what it's for intended for, which is AoE large packs of enemies. That's that's what it's for. There just isn't a lot of that in Ulduar. Okay, I'm screwing this up a little bit. I'm letting these... um slices go down for too much time okay so this is my plan to get myself back on track i'm gonna do a slice early and now just build for rupture this looks better Good. Is 
This is not good. I need to plan ahead this energy usage a bit better. This is actually a fairly poor performance. I lost quite a number of seconds to, like, late refreshes of uh, Slice and Dice. What do we got? Breastplate of the Stone Shaper? The fuck is this? Something with one of my add-ons messes up my, like, mouse overs. This is the hard mode loot. Okay. Nothing good. Uh, combat, you're always using instant poison main hand and deadly poison offhand. Is combat going to be a lot stronger than Assassin in TOGC? No. You should play whichever spec you want to play, or whichever spec you have better gear for. If you need information about, like, what poisons you should be using or other, um, if you need information about what poisons you should use, you should read on the Discord and read in the Index channel and find the topic that says Weapon and Poison Choices for Assassination Rogue. And if, I'm sorry, but if that post doesn't help you, I can't help you further. Uh, that, that's the best explanation I've got of how you choose your weapons and how you choose your poisons. That information is very available. On the Discord, go to the Index channel, find the weapon and poison choices topic. Damage. Hold an extra pack here. That's okay. Why am I stealthing before pack as combat? Habit from doing it as assassination, that's it. Ah, uh, Fia Dread gifting a tier one to Lando. Thank you very much. That's very generous, Fia Dread. I appreciate that. It's your first gift sub in the channel. Cool. Leechrum with a prime? Thank you. What is up? How's it going? Thank you for uh, using your prime here. I appreciate that. Really, the, re the main reason you use Fan of Knives more as combat or at like lower target thresholds is because... The other abilities you have to choose from, Sinister Strike, Rupture, whatever the fuck, um, are just way less efficient than the abilities you have to choose from as Assassination. Like, Mutilate and Envenom are insanely strong at converting damage, or energy into damage. And Sinister Strike and Rupture are significantly worse. Thank you. <laughs> Got a tip from one of my uh, raid mates here that I still had the raid start at 8 p.m. overlay active. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna faint this. God, this boss is so annoying because it's like the damage to these guys is like pretty irrelevant. Let me do the thing. There we go. 
Come on. Slice. Go to this. Go there. Expose is up. Alright, we basically have just an entirely scuffed rotation because I don't like this boss. And I didn't want to try very hard, to be completely honest. Try to make it a more normal rotation. Okay, build for rupture. Augometer is measuring uh, whether my crit RNG is above or below average. Uh, not nothing particularly useful, and I don't think it's actually calibrated for combat right now. Uh. I'm pretty sure it's calibrated for, uh, assassination. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I have to talk to the guy who made it. Wherefore made that weak aura, not me. It is, uh, fairly complicated. Okay. Okay. Please lower my energy enough so I can do this. There we go. There we go. What do we got? 30 seconds until tank death? Yeah, we're fine. Steel Waker dead. Perilous Bite. That loot sucks. Do I have 10 man version of this? Let me check my key ring. Heroic? Okay, I'll greed roll it. We'll see if we win the data disc. Alright, now it's gotten to a lame section of the Oblivion soundtrack, so we're just gonna skip to whatever's next. Ogre battle? Uh, not feeling it. Journey? Let's go Golden Sun. Actually, fuck that. We Diddy Kong Racing, boys. Oh, we got the data disc. Why do I have this here? What the? Left on the corpse. Dude, this quest is so dumb. Go over here, then go all the way over there, and then go all the way back, and then go to Kologarn. Stupidest fucking quest ever. Okay. Ah, uh, Screamer Tube, you might be confused. By, like, the hemorrhage tooltip says, like, deals higher percentage weapon damage with daggers. Yeah, but the dagger's base weapon damage is just lower. That's to compensate for that. It's not like, oh, it's better with daggers. Right? It's about the same. Uh, it, it's to calculate... It, it's to compensate for, like, the instant strike calculation with daggers. Just, like, having a lower base value. Yeah, the boss had some loot on it that no one wanted, so not too concerned about that.
Okay, we've discovered... Let's see, raid... Wait. Entrance located? No, it doesn't say I'm located yet. Can cringe. Quest completion? Compl now it says completed. Okay, well, whatever. We can go, we can zoom over there after Algalon, after we loot our Dark Matter. If we get Dark Matter, we really don't care about getting Runestone. Because as combat, we'll just run Dark Matter Comet. But if we don't get Dark Matter, we do kind of want a Runestone for the combat spec. But if someone else wants it, we'd probably pass it to them. Because it's just kind of like our off-spec item. We're primarily playing Assassination in Raids. Commencing planetary analysis of Azeroth. Stand back, mortals. I'm not here to fight you. <laughs> well, I can sh send you a screenshot of my bank with all the best trinkets from every expansion. Do not interfere. Ah, dude, you gotta go Kiss of the Spider. Dragon Spine Trophy, Black and Naru Sliver, Comet's Trail, and <laughs> they were trying to make a meme of the Infinity Gauntlet of um of uh, uh of Thanos, but then they like Photoshop my face on it with a top hat, and then in the Infinity Gauntlet they're gonna put. Uh, trinket, 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 trinket. <laughs> the Drake, oh, Drake Fang Talisman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have been Drake Fang, Kiss of the Spider, DST, uh, Black and Naru Sliver, and Comet's Trail. Black Hand's Breath- Oh, get out of here with that Black Hand's Breath bullshit. Okay, Hand of Justice, that one's legit. That Hand of Justice is legit. I mean, I could have two Infinity Gauntlets. We, you could just, like, clone the image and flip it so it's the other hand, and then put five more of my trinkets over there. Uh, which tank is tanking first? Roger that. I will tricks. Okay, we blast and it's Algabong time. Four, three, two, one. Your actions are illogical. Your actions are illogical. Message regardless of outcome. Forty six thousand forty six. Holy fuck, that's so much health. Okay, here we go. Algabong time. Incomprehensible even to your greatest minds. I'll let it fall. I accidentally refreshed it. <laughs> we have a Prout Warrior now. Right leg. Okay, expose is off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. I got popped. Watch your step. I do what I must.
Uh, why did Strummer die? Uh, Tank died, and I was pumping such huge damage that I was second on threat, so I died immediately afterwards. Loss of life. Uh, if I wasn't such a GigaChad gamer dealing insane damage, I wouldn't have died there. So really, it's like DJ Khaled says, I'm suffering from success. I bet he didn't even pop his light of a loon to stay alive. Dude. I don't even have... I haven't even acquired light of a loon on this character. I could still go do the quest. Um... Kind of, but not really very much. It's just that your auto attacks keep going during killing spree, and they receive the same 20% bonus damage at killing spree, so you get slightly more auto attacks. That's slightly better. So technically there's... Yeah, technically there's positive interaction there, but you really you're looking for like your armor pen procs, your crit procs, your attack power procs that actually pump up the damage of the killing spree hits. Right, yep, that's that's right. Runestone's really good for that too. Sorry, what? Oh, uh yeah, sure. If if he's in there. Do you make PvP or just PvE? Pretty much just PvE. Every once in a while, I'll accidentally queue into an arena or something like that. But mostly PvE focused. Let's see, four physical... Do we have... Yeah, I can actually go assassin on this. That's what I'll do. Because no stealth is subtlety, so he's not giving the 3% crit debuff. We have no ret, and Ada is enhanced. So yeah, we'll just... Yeah, this is this is good. We'll just do fatty damage like this. And we don't have to expose on this boss in particular, because we swapped in a warrior here. Yeah, last time I was in an arena, it was with two other rogues, and we were all coordinating shadow step ambushes to one-shot people. That was pretty fun. Uh, t t 10 attack power, tracker's ferocity buff, very important, of course. Uh, the VOD is up on YouTube, uh, if you want to see. Uh, it's hilarious. We used DBM to do a five-second countdown in the arena, to then all press our shadow step ambush. <laughs> for this encounter have been calculated. Two, one. The Pantheon will receive the observer's message regardless of outcome. The stars come to my aid. Your right leg. Back to left leg. Watch your step. Right leg. Left leg. Are we doing another star? Whatever, I'll just start pressing my feints. Watch your step. Right leg. Left leg. Shelter. The fury of the cosmos. 
I'm gonna go in. Start left leg. Watch your step. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. Left leg. Damn, we are fucking trucking this damage meter right now. Holding this faint for a star. Watch your step. Right leg. Left leg. Wait, I didn't do that correctly. Find shelter. Start left leg. Your right leg. Left leg. We got a faint coverage. That's good. I do. Hank death. I dodged a couple of times. Watch your step. Didn't have evasion up, and my vanish was just barely coming up there. The tools of creation. We're down to a solo warrior tank. Oh gosh. Watch your step. Loss of life unavoidable. Wait, why do you say loss of life unavoidable? No one just died. These are our only two deaths. Holy fuck, he's tr getting trucked. Tears going down. High priest, the dark matters are on healers. Fuck! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Watch your step. Find shelter. The pump. You gotta pump it. You gotta pump it. This isn't... Wait, is that secured? Secured! Easy, guys! Easy game! Oh, fuck. <laughs> this loot sucks! Drape of the Messenger. Starlight Tread. Apply code alpha. I mean, it's like an off-spec item, basically. Other people probably need it way more than me. Alright, uh, we go back to combat. No dark matters. Unlucky. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, we should go all the way to... We gotta get the quests for the key. That allows you to persevere against all cosmically calculated odds. You prevail with the Titan's own perfect... Rosito JP says you're going to sleep, you're in Europe. Yeah, what is it, like 2 a.m.? Something like that? Have a good one. The, the VOD will be up uh, in a couple days on YouTube if you want to check it out. Or, you know, on Twitch whenever. I lack the strength to transmit the signal. You must do, 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 do. find a place of power. 
close to the skies. You got your last old war ten item today. So happy you don't have to go back. Says color fresh. Yeah, that that'd be nice, huh? <laughs> I, I haven't finished 10-man loot on any of my rugs yet. Do not worry about my mm -hmm. If the signal is not transmitted in time, reorigination I? will proceed. You are seen. Unlock the end. Oh, what can I do for you? Request travels. Denied. Access. How are you? Watch your back. You got my attention. Okay, we've got the Watcher thing going. We got the quest. Now we just have to manage to remember to actually um, uh, loot all of the sigils, which is its own challenge. What? DJ's raid leader now. Okay, we had to... Listen. Only a flesh Got him. They Look, I also cast Expose once. Spire of Withering Dreams? Shit ass loot. Emerald signet ring also shit ass loot. You can do all kinds of different secondary specs depending on what your raid needs, Dark Vader. I usually have combat as my secondary spec, but if I am needed to like soak big bangs on Algalon, I would use subtlety as my secondary spec. Or, you know, a lot of different things. There's not one the secondary spec that you have to run as an assassination rogue. Do I have a video on how and when to use... No, I don't make an entire video about... Well, wait, no, I have made entire videos about one ability, but really there's not a lot of depth to that. All right, moving on. Yeah, you can read about that on the Wowhead guide about how many targets you think you should have for using Fan of Knives. Good there. Design tenuous twilight opal. I'm greed that.
Hello, Simon. How have you been? Excited for more Diablo 4 soon? Yeah, this weekend. Absolutely. Tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to... I think I'm going to do my... Um, I think I'm going to do my WoW raid first and then do Diablo after the WoW raid instead of like starting the stream early and then going back and forth. Pretty good. Just got Dark Matter this week, so I'm just missing those Algalon gloves. Okay, pretty good for like 10 man loot. Make sure you get through the queue early, then AFK. Yeah, maybe like join the queue when the stream starts or a little before then. Go to my Ulduar raid. And then maybe I'll be out of the queue by the time Ulduar is over. Wonder if my computer can handle running Diablo at the same time as Classic WoW. snakes nope okay there we go didn't get booted after hours of inactivity okay that's good to know maybe i'll just like queue up like basically when i wake up see if it lets me in okay oh dear time <laughs> Crystal of Ferocity, of course. Essential. Use those drums? No, we got Druid and we got... Oh! Yeah! Look at that. Good call. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's Zellian. Hello, how's it going? Oh, I think Tyr was practicing the Mimiron skip. That's why he wasn't here. Yeah, you hit him, you'll be in combat for like two or three seconds, then you'll drop combat as he does his like voice lines, and you just accept summon as soon as you're out of combat after you've hit him. Okay, I'm trying to think what remaining loot in the instance is good for us. Uh, there might not be much, honestly. Mm 
Loop of the Agile didn't drop. Band of Lights didn't drop. Dark Matter didn't drop. Fluxing Energy Coils didn't drop. Most of the loot we need on this character is at the front of the instance. <laughs> Rogue power level in rap makes me real glad we are over the TBC dark time. You TBC was a tough time for all of us Four, rogues. Nice. Yes. Correct. We're in. Uh, I screwed up a little bit, but it's fine. Oh my god. Is it an eviscerate? Oh my god. It is an eviscerate. Find shelter. Get up. There we go. Storm Edge, Ice Core Staff. None of the stuff we want. Where's Oriaya? Way over there? That's ah, fine. It's fine. Okay. Wait. King Oriaya, god damn it. Oh, it's gonna be um less than eighty seconds before we pull this. Which means I'm not gonna have Blade Flurry uh on rip, which is uh unfortunate. What a goddamn shame not having Blade Flurry for that. Fear incoming. Interrupt. Banished the fear. Perfect. Bro, what? Uh, let's see, this should not be a rupture because boss is almost dead. Boom. There we go. There we go. 
Did you buy Comet from a GDKP or get it in guild? Yeah, we got this in guild. This character mostly goes to guild runs. Do we know for sure yet that Warriors will outscale us as Joe Van F? I would say no. I would say if you, I mean, it, it, all you need to do is look at the track record of predictions by YouTubers and the track record of predictions by private server players. Um, and just to know that you can just throw all that information largely in the trash. Um, I mean, maybe it'll be true, but there's like, like, like maybe warriors will deal more damage than us when they're in full Ice Crown Citadel best in slot, but it's like, uh, like, we already have, like, predictions about phase one from private server players that have, were already, like, proven wrong in Wrath Classic. So it's like, you don't really need to put a lot of weight in that. It's like, maybe it's right, maybe it's not. It's definitely not known for sure, like, you, the way you phrased it. True, uh, true. It's Pyrite Infuser best than Agi card. All the stuff from phase two is better than all the stuff from phase one, so yes. Uh, there's definitely loot left on... There was definitely loot left on Iron Council. I walked past it a couple times. Oh no, we lost one Abyss Crystal. <laughs> Plexin, Big Madge. That I... <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in this group that needs boot blade. <laughs> Why else would these invaders have come into your sanctum but to slay you? They must be stopped. No, it's going to be boot blade and then we'll lose Plexum forever. It's just a really insanely good dagger for rogues, and apparently no one in this group needs it. Nice. Run away. Oh wait, this guy's got runestone too? Holy shit. We could actually get the runestone, perhaps. The runestone's good in our combat setup. Way better than Blood of the Old God. So the thing about this like whole warrior scaling copium is like all the other classes get better with having more gear also. Warriors have to get ha have to scale up enough more than the other classes to not only to close the enormous gap that currently exists between warrior damage output and the other classes. Like that's not easy. That's a th there's a big difference. And it's not just like do they scale or not? It's do they scale enough more than the other classes to surpass them? And that's pretty questionable. Okay, we're kind of sucking here, honestly. I was too busy explaining about warriors. I'm gonna wait for a uh, chain lightning, I guess. There we go. Now we can do this. I ran way too far away. Yeah, okay. We played that pretty poorly. Now 
No rupture here. He's almost dead. Do one more expose, one more slice. Wait, I forgot one of the sigils. I forgot the Hodir sigil. God damn it. Looting sigils is the most difficult part of this entire instance. Left my kingdom in ruins, corrupted my brother, and slain my wife. And now it falls to you, champion, to avenge Damn. No rune stone. Before you is great, but I will lend you my aid as I am able. You I must prevail. Let's do it. It's hilarious. I gotta go to Hodier. Get my sigil. Here we go. Damn, okay, we didn't manage to convince uh for zero light. We're doing one light. Okay, we're back on track with our sigils. Any loot? What do you need out of this run? I'm pretty sure we can't loot any good items anymore. On account of we've passed all the bosses that potentially drop something good. <laughs> so far, two sigils is our loot. Yep, right here. And a thick fur clothing scrap. Uh, we also got that. And we got tenuous twilight opal design. I'll put it over here. Agility and MP5. Huge gem. When do Rat Paladins and Warriors stop stealing our leather? In Cataclysm. When they finally get a damage boost for not wearing leather. Okay, some little damage here with Fan of Knives. Okay, Freya time. Hmm. Maybe I should re-up poisons. They're getting a little, uh, little on the low side. Okay, so when you're playing combat on this boss... What you really want to see happen is the trio spawn as the first spawn and the last spawn. So then there's enough time between them that you can blade flurry both or potentially even blade flurry plus adrenaline on both of them. Okay, here we go. This is how we win. This is it, boys. Okay. You can build up a couple points. Okay. We chillin' now? Your servant requires aid. Probably can't do a rupture here. Okay. We don't want to attack Freya right now. There we go. Stack. We've got the power of mushroom. For extra damn. Oh god. 
We held off on some fans there to make sure we didn't blow them up uh, in the raid. We could have done more. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We only really want to hit Freya to build combo points when our internal cooldowns or when our trinkets are on internal cooldown. Okay, and also we got lucky. We got the first and last on trio spawn. So that's that's insane. But 10-man still goes so fast, we won't even be able to Adrenaline them. But we will be able to Blade Flurry both trio packs. So that's good. Gonna hold. <laughs> Spent a lot of energy there on that cheap shot. Nope. Uh, don't worry, guys. Okay. Go. Run away. Why Freya not dead yet? Hmm. Nobody know. Maybe, because I'm not using Wound Poison. That could be it. Okay, Freya dead. Let's not get blasted by the bombs, and remember to loot the Sigil. Okay, we got Freya Sigil. Nice. Foot Pads of Silence, already known. Chest Guard of the Lasher, Male, Conqueror, no. Whispering Winds. Suck. Okay, Spark of Imagination. We did it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Mimiron time. We got a lot of Phantom Knives damage on that boss, honestly. <laughs> We're gonna do 8.9 plus 5.5, so that's like 14%. That's a lot of fan damage. How much Blade Flurry did we get? 173,000 Blade Flurry, but that's across two Blade Flurries, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, we got Mimiron, then Vizax, then Yogg, One Light. Whoa. Did you spin big on anything recently as zero play? Uh, two weeks in a row, we uh, have not seen anything even drop that was good for the rogue I run in GDKP. Um, we had a couple like small spends on the combat rogue, picking up a rune stone and another item for a close to minimum bid. So war chest is like 250,000 gold right now or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. It's over gold cap. And I literally don't know exactly how far over gold cap. Okay. 
Okay, we do two minutes here, and we'll do, um... Hold the three minutes for the second phase. Why is Pyrite Infuser better than Agicard for combat? Because you plug it into the spreadsheet or simulator tool, and it says it's better. That's why. Because all the tools that we trust to evaluate gear say it's better. There we go. Okay. Gold cap is 214,000 gold. Yeah, I'm going to be in Sanctuary this weekend, actually. Yeah, Diablo 4. Okay, we're blasting. You barely spend all this goddamn energy. Whoops. Um, oops. Watch your step. Keep moving. The way Weak Aura gets around it is like the Weak Aura add-on is free. They're not selling you the add-on. They're selling you content for the add-on, which is just such an obvious cop-out of the rule that you're not supposed to sell content for the game like that. Uh, they were talking about some content creators um, selling their Weak Auras selling access to their weak auras which is like you're really not supposed to do that um in the blizzard terms of service there's a thing that's like you, you add-ons cannot be sold like you you have to um if you're making add-ons for the game they have to be freely available and like the cop out that the people that um sell weak auras say is like oh they're not selling the add-on they're selling content for an add-on and you know somehow that makes it okay but really like blizzard doesn't do fucking shit to enforce that so like it's pretty standard for a lot of content creators to sell the weak auras that they make but that's never how i'm gonna do it Okay, got the assault bots down. Want to kill the fire bots? What? What? They don't silence? Do you say? Oh. Oh. Okay. Then probably leave them. Uh, okay. Anyways, we can focus on the boss now. Your 
Watch your step, keep moving. Watch your step. Oh, shit. Okay, shock blast. Where are we going? Over here. Okay, we gotta focus DPS at this point. No more fan spamming to pad meters. Okay, we gotta remember the sigil. <laughs> okay, Mimiron sigil. We're at three sigils now, and our inventory is full. We gotta delete the thick fur clothing scraps. Wait, which one did we miss? Wait, no, this is four sigils. Okay, we got all of them. Okay, now we go to General Vizax. <laughs> You're doing Algon 10 man tomorrow for the first time. Our group doesn't have a paladin. Are we fucked or do we stand a chance? I mean, having paladins in your group is generally good. Is it possible to do it without a paladin? Sure, but you're probably, you know, at a little bit of a disadvantage compared to having a paladin, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, big fan. Should have let that greater heal go off so I could have fanned more damage. You won't catch me kicking greater heals on AoE packs, trust. You have an uber pull spec on this character? Uh, no. This guy's got assassination on one and combat on the other. Just fairly standard talent specs. Are you using Phantom Knives Glyph right now? No, uh, I, I'm supposed to expose armor, so my Glyph setup is expose, slice, and faint. Yeah, this is 10-man. You, you can't hit those insane DPS numbers in 10-man, even if you do do the double pull, because the packs just have fewer mobs. And it's just like your rogue AoE, it just like scales off quantity of enemies super hard. Um... Which is why, like, Warlocks beat you on most AoE packs of the, like, five to eight mobs or whatever. It's, like, it's not at the tipping point of quantity of mobs where Rogue AoE becomes insane. Um, most of the time for Algalon 10 Man, like, for groups that aren't, like familiar with it or progressing on it three healing is usually the way to go because the bottleneck is usually tanks and players dying to raid damage it's not like the berserk timer of like do you have enough damage output in your raid is almost never the issue
Okay. Sneaky duck, you said you do the brood lord, blood lord kite. Um, were you? I I was thinking about how to execute that, and like some people had suggested that I jump off of the temple, and I had tried that once, and like it didn't go super well. But uh, my other strategies didn't go super well either. Did you um? Did you jump around um? Did you, did you run around the temple, or did you go up the stairs and then jump off it? Ran around in circles, so you weren't going up the stairs. Okay. Pudgel off of the trash. Focus, big boy. Okay. Killing spree before the blade flurry is over. Mm-hmm. Lottie! Lottie, what is up? Hello, 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 hello. What is up? Lottie Glaive emotes? Don't worry, I got you. You better believe these ain't leaving my bags. How's it going? Thank you for the raid of 352 people. Let's go. What is up? On this stream, we normally do rogue stuff. It's This is pretty much a rogue stream. I know you, uh, Lottie heads, you're used to Lottie playing a bunch of different classes and owning on all of them. Uh, I, I'm too stupid to do that. Uh, I pretty much just know how to do Invenom and, uh, Mutilate. Uh, okay? That's what we do. Uh, actually, I mean, uh, we're doing combat today, but, um... Uh, let's see, No Stealth is doing Assassination in this raid. We're, we're crushing an old War 10 here, but does Lottie have Glaze? I'm pretty sure Lottie has glaives on a level one character that he got summoned into Black Temple. I, I'm pretty sure I remember that clip. Ah, uh, we should probably go back to real weapons. Mm hmm. -hmm. Okay, so uh, this character is pretty good geared. But, uh, there were a lot of upgrades we could have gotten, but none of them dropped. Four, three, two, one. We got Fringe Ass Exposed Duty. Unlucky. Interrupt one. At least we don't have to do spell interrupts. That would be even worse. Interrupt team. Capped energy, not the greatest. Good. 
Into okay, a expose. Here we go. Did you just hit 80? No, dude, this is this is my main character. I've been uh, 80 for quite a while on this character, Into believe it or not. All right, more tank, more tricks on the tank. Mr. X, some threat over there. What's special about the glaives? They're legendary. Oh shit! Oh no, no. Okay, what we did there was um, a uh, bad planning of our energy uh, usage. And then we didn't get lucky with our ruthlessness procs, so we got punished for our bad planning. And lost some slice and dice up time. Interrupt team. Uh, we were gonna bring a brown boy to the raid to be Sunder Armor, but it's like... Uh, we just didn't have that available. They like It was better for them to run on a different class. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Do it like this. Interrupt one. Interrupt. You want me to put it on? I usually just skip it in ten. Interrupt two. Mm-hmm. Interrupt one. Yeah, so the faint spell, when you glyph it, it has zero energy cost. Interrupt and um, whenever you use it, it gives a chance to trigger your main hand poison and a chance to trigger your main hand enchant. So you just Interrupt press it three. and gain some DPS. And it's just like... The other part about it is you get this buff that is, um... You get the buff that's, uh, 50% reduced damage taken from AoE effects. So it's actually super useful on a lot of, uh, old war fights. Interrupt two. <laughs> Interrupt three. Okay, we're just gonna hold these combo points now. And we're gonna wait for the animus to spawn. What's the bisque list for combat? Varies encounter to encounter and like whether you're exposing or not. Uh glyphs for combat, there's a lot of options that are like really close to each other. You'll find a bunch of like stupid people who are like, oh my god, you have to do this glyph because it's insane! But it's like, no, there's a lot of options that are actually like really similar to each other. And the funniest thing is they'll be like, I'm a 99 parser, therefore, I know. And it's like, nope, dude, every single sim simulator tool and spreadsheet we have uh, indicates that, uh, your glyph choice wasn't the reason you parsed 99. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have a glyph recommendation wizard linked on my Discord that is, uh, it, like, it asks you five questions about, like, the encounter and what you're trying to do. And then recommends you glyphs. That was actually a bad rupture. I didn't realize that mob dies so fast in 10 man mode. Okay. Interrupt. Is Trix a huge damage buff to you? Uh, no. Trix is used to buff other players' damage. It can never be used to buff the rogue's own damage. Well, not directly. Uh, if you use it to misdirect threat onto a tank, then you can, you know, start fighting, start damaging a pack, especially like an AoE pack, before 
the tank has established threat, and then you get a little extra uptime than other people. So in that way, it's kind of a DPS increase. I'll get front left. Okay. We're going in. We got Thorim helping us in Ulduar Ranch here to finish up this Yogg One Light. And probably get shit loot, but maybe we'll get Soul Devouring Cinch for no stealth. That would be hot. We got through. Ah, uh, they're not spawning extras. I hit my blade flurry right at the start. So that- oh. That was yikes. Don't worry, we're live. We're living. I didn't have faint available. This is one of the situations where faint is really good, but... Uh, especially when you, like, spawn extras. Sometimes, uh, you don't have faint available for every single one. Because they die too close together. Yes, yes. Show them no mercy. Give no Got the faint up. So you see, we barely take damage from those explosions. Uh, cloak off that debuff. That one's scary. Okay. Next. Trade tricks for focus magic. Usually, usually, like, the really impactful tricks of the trade is putting one on a warlock or shadow priest. So they can snapshot their corruption or shadow word pain. Um, and then they get the value from the tricks of the trade basically on that spell over the entire fight duration. Um, outside of that, you're just buffing one person's damage for 15% for 6 or 10 seconds if you glyph it. Um, and, and then like you, you just pick whoever's basically doing the most DPS to get the most total benefit from that. So we got this nasty debuff and our cloak is on cooldown, so we kind of just chillin'. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's one more. We can fight this dude. Faint. Here's the constrictor. Fucking debuff. Where is it? Corruptor Tentacle all the way over there. We can get to it and get back. We got 40 seconds to portal time. We're on front left portal. Run away. Malady. Oh, we gotta get... Oh, okay. I fucked that up. Brain Link on me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so... I stood too close to no stealth and linked the Malady. And then Malady... And then no stealth stood too close to me. And linked it back. I'm front left. Okay. I'll stay for you. Here we go. Into the brain room. Let's go real quick. Where's my blood of the old god proc? Come on. I want to do my killing spree. Want the attack power buff. There it is. Boom. Easy, easy, easy. Carried my exposed armor. Unlocked. Fix my warlock. 
Let's see, we got 66 sanity. That's plenty of sanity, really. Do some fans. Get a little bit of damage on those dudes. And kick that bullshit. Okay, hero is up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This is actually one light, and we can kill these. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they, they got a Shadow Beacon. Like, if he kept him in, it would have healed. We, we, I think we should actually kill them? Never mind, boss is dead. There we go. Amos of Inconceivable Horror. That's a good uh, caster item. Um, and this is shit and fucking shit. What are we doing, Razor Scale Ignis? All right, I'm game. I do not need anything there. Yeah, we did Alga Bong already. It was shit loot, dude. No dark matter, no band of lights. Therefore, shit loot. We need dark matter. We need band of lights. We didn't get loop of the agile either. We didn't get fluxing energy coils. Extremely unlucky. But we did uh, skip Razor Scale and Ignis, so we're gonna. We're gonna come over here, clean those guys up. Leather Legs, Ace Neck, and the Dog Shit trink int Trinket. Uh, let's see. On Algalon, it was. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Obviously, Reply Code. Gosh, you know, honestly, whenever it's not Rogue Loot, I, I completely tune it out in my head. I just tune it out. Oh, fuck. We pulled aggro. Too much damage. Huge DPS. Is it an add-on or weak or to see big numbers? No, that's just a default game setting. It's neither of those things. Full threat. Full threat again. Don't worry, we've got a fan. It's important. Should actually probably still maintain slice and dice here. That was a mistake. Okay. Now we can go back to fanning because we've reestablished our slice and dice. Little food buff. Oh yeah, two minutes, two minutes, we're good. We didn't drop food buff yet. But I would have dropped it if you didn't remind me. So thank you, at EXET86. Oh, uh, okay, one mob, now we stop fanning. Uh, wait, sh they're pulling the boss. Okay, I'm not gonna get a food buff here. Um... Okay, slice. Now we can do that. Now we build for rupture. Okay. We're trying here. We're trying real hard. 
Build for rupture. Chillin, chillin. Hit it. Sinister, slice. Now we go for expose next. One pointer. Tricks my warlock buddy. Hit that. Hit slice. Go for rupture now. Yeah, it turns out they pulled it too quickly and I wasn't paying enough attention, so I didn't get the food buff right away. Unlucky. Don't need food buff to top the meters, though. No, wait. No stealth pulled ahead. No, now I'm in the... Oh, no! Non-consensual slag potting going on here. Yikes. Okay, now now we're effed. There's no recovering from that, unless no stealth gets slag potted right away. Okay, this is some actual technology right here. I had... Okay, let me explain. I did a couple of fan of knives, and you might think those were padding. Um, but they were actually optimizing my single target damage. When you do... Because I had blade flurry up. When you press a uh, fan of knives, and you have blade flurry active, it hits every target around you, right, with the fan of knives. But the blade flurry extra hits which c duplicates all the main hand hits of Fan of Knives on however many targets. They only go to the single closest enemy to you. So if you stand directly on top of the boss, and then you Blade Flurry and smash Fan of Knives, all the extra Blade Flurry hits go on to the boss, and it's a single target DPS increase. Uh, I think you need like four or five targets to make that a single target DPS increase, that Blade Flurry combination. Wait, we moved right into Vizax, oh, uh, Razor Scale, I mean, and I didn't food buff again. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'll Crystal of Ferocity instead for 10 extra attack power. And I'll summon the Pumpkin Soldiers. Will I have time for it? Ooh, turret 2. It's basically gonna happen. I'm gonna be a little bit delayed. Yeah, we can go for the Pumpkin Soldiers, whatever. Who cares if it's a tiny delay? Also, we should King's buff everyone. Okay. Move quickly. She won't remain grounded for long. Okay. Waiting for the blood proc. Where's the blood proc? Come on. There we go. We're just gonna killing spree now. Banish the wing buffet. Perfect. And we can hit adrenaline. Probably could have adrenaline earlier, but I was like, hey, I usually, I like to do the killing spree first, because usually my trinkets come up right away, but we waited a little bit on that one. One more, oh, didn't get the final eviscerate. Plate and plate, pass and pass. Okay, now look at uh, enemy damage taken on Razor Scale. Okay, no stealth beat us because he's assassination. That's why. Uh, damage done. Let's look at that. Pumpkin Soldiers added 3.3 thousand damage to my uh, Razor Scale score right there. Okay, huge. 
if you don't have a uh, horseman's blade uh, the level 70 version and the level 80 version summon the same pumpkin soldiers by the way so you can have the 70 version it's fine but if you don't have this on your character you might as well just delete character and uninstall come back next october when you can finally get it and uh, actually compete pumpkins lit up the pogo meter is that true or did i actually just like crit a whole lot the pogo meter is an insane uh weak aura by the way um the function of the pogo meter you can see it right here is uh it tells you if my crit rng is above or below average that's it it doesn't provide any useful information for playing your character better in any way it just tells you if you're getting lucky or not. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Old War 10, out. Can you check my other message? Would like some info. Gosh, now I have to scroll up. Do you have a parse guide for assassination? No, dude. I fucking hate it when people are like... I need to score higher on Warcraft logs. How do I score higher on Warcraft logs? It's a different game than being a good World of Warcraft player. The fights these days are too complicated, and the strategy to parse optimally in a lot of cases diverges from the strategy to be the most effective, like, team success. Right? Like, you do a bunch of bullshit like not casting tricks of the trade. You do a bunch of bullshit like not helping kill. I mean, that's not a good example. What is another good example? Um, fan of knivesing all the immortal guardians at the end of the fight in Yog Saron Zero Light because those count for your logs for some reason. Um, and so like. There's a bunch of bullshit advice like that that's really dumb. Now, uh, that's the end of Old War, but I have one thing, one more thing. We have one more thing to do, you guys. Don't worry about it. We're going to switch over to Simonizer the Death Knight, and we're going to get Thunder Fury, okay? What's going to happen is we're going to get Thunder Fury, okay? Never mind that we're in Onyxia's Lair. Don't worry about that part. We're now in Galaran? Where is my corpse? Hang on. My corpse is at the inn? Oh, okay. We don't have to spirit res. Uh, okay. Let me put up the prediction. Will we get any bindings? Uh, okay. So we're going to go in. We're going to kill Baron Geddon. And then I'm going to close predictions. And then we're going to kill Gar. And then I'm going to pay out the prediction based on if we get any uh, bindings or not. What should you do on Algalon to get a good parse? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. I like to play World of Warcraft. I know a lot of people like to play Warcraft logs, but I, I'm going to be honest, I, I just don't care when people come to me and ask, how do I improve my parse? It's like, if you want to ask me, how do I be a valuable team member on uh, Algalon? How do I improve my rogue play on Algalon? That's a different question. Okay, so we go... From here, and we go to Thorium Point. Gotta change the stream title. Molten Core for Solo Binding Run Death Knight. Uh, basically, basically, I just get way too tired. Like, I like playing World of Warcraft, and. Playing Warcraft logs is different enough that I feel like it's a different game. You know? So, yeah, like, uh, Scorp... I, I gave two examples of that, like, K 
casting tricks of the trade as a rogue, just like on cooldown, on a damage dealer in your raid, is what you should do if you're trying to be a good team player. Because, like, it's by far the most efficient way you can convert energy into damage. However, if you're trying to play Warcraft logs, you don't do that because the damage gain from tricks of the trade is not attributed to you. You're spending energy on something that, like, it's kind of a marginal DPS increase for the raid, but it's, like, definitely the correct thing to do. It's not gonna, like... You're spending energy on something that doesn't improve your parse, so as a parse monkey, you, you wouldn't do that. You'd spend that energy on, you know, more mutilates or whatever, something stupid like that. Or, like, because Warcraft Logs counts damage to Immortal Guardians in Phase 3 of Yogg-Saron towards your damage parse, a, a, like, competent player trying to help their team would focus the boss the entire time, because that's what actually helps end the encounter, but a parse monkey would go at the end and they'd be like, there's 12 immortal guardians up, I'm gonna go fan of knives them and deal minimal damage to the boss, and that's the strategy for parsing really good on yogg -Saron. It is, and it's definitely different and definitely conflicting with the strategy that actually helps your team complete the encounter. It's a different mindset because the, the, the rule set for parsing better, it, it, the, the rule set for parses is different enough in a lot of cases than like what's optimal for a raid. Okay, we go here, boom. Did it, I mean, I, I think I think Warcraft Logs generally tries to do that. However, at the same time, they're trying to like prevent even cheesier strategies from being possible. And like, and as the fights just get more and more complicated, it becomes less and less possible to have the like parsing rules line up with like what you should be doing to maximize success of the raid. So, I think it eventually just becomes impossible. Can you Path of Frost on Lava? Uh... I don't know. Alright, we're fine. It's fine. Okay, we made it. Uh, let's get food buff and heal up a little bit. We'll have to kill that Fire Lord because we didn't we didn't get the jump quite right. If you kill those two, you can jump at an angle where you like almost always get it. But if you don't want to aggro those and you just want to go off the edge, it's really hard to get the right angle so you don't fall into the lava. Uh, okay. Drums of the Wild, Drums of Forgotten ta uh, Kings, uh, we can do this, and we can do that, and we're going to blast this Fire Lord. This DK is dense, yeah, dude, he's in, like, not even best in slot phase one gear, uh, but it's good enough to kill these bosses in Molten Core, so... In my view, I don't need any more gear. Oh gosh, I'm silenced right now. Okay. Uh, Anto, no. I, to my knowledge, there is no, like, correction factor for kill times. Uh, accessing, you know, faster kill times is just something that gives you a huge advantage. And it's like, if you're in a guild that's not doing fast kill times, like, that's another way in which you're not going to be able to compete. Okay, we're going to let this guy pass. 
And then... Boom. Rocket boot. Let's go. Skipping mobs. Also, the soundtrack got a little weird. Let's go to whatever's next. Doom? Yeah, okay. We can go for Doom music. Okay, I'm gonna pull this. Silenced right now. Pulled the dog and the annihilator. Gotta kill the lava spawn. We're fine, we're fine. Dude, I'm feeling it. We're gonna get a binding this time, for sure. It's impossible to not get binding when you're playing Doom music. Big death strike. Okay. Music is maybe a little bit too loud. Let's go back to our Windows Media Player. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we got any good loot off of these dudes. Uh, no. No good loot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, my most recent YouTube video it actually covered this topic exactly. It was called The Problem with Parsing. And it talked about how, uh, you know, raid success optimal strategies at this point are generally divergent from parse optimal strategies because the fights are just more complicated. It's really hard to align those two things. And how a parse doesn't really measure an individual it's not a great measure of an individual's skill it's probably the best tool we have available to do that but a big problem with it is like you know it's assigning an individual score to something that is a team achievement so you don't know how much of that you know score comes from the individual player or just the team that they're playing in Uh, so yeah, I mean, I just got super sick of, uh, <laughs> people that, uh, just ask me how to improve my parse. It's like, man, I don't want to play Warcraft logs. Okay, we got Serger in right now. We're going for Baron first. Probably just pull him when he comes around. Let's get into position for that. So we don't have to wait again. Here we go. Got him. And we got him without the other other mobs. Nice. There we go. So we'll take this down. Would you rather one shot Yog Zero and Parse mm -hmm. 90 or wipe a few times for our perfect? <laughs> I would ra much rather I do not give a shit about what my character's parses are. Uh, I would much rather one shot the boss and move on with my life. No doubt about that. Uh, wait. We aren't even in good position yet. We gotta get into good position. Run out. Living bomb. We go to, like, right here. And then the living bomb won't even push us up into the air. That's perfect. Run out. Run out. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is a hero class, by the way, Death Knight. Uh, what that means, in case you're unaware what it means to be a hero class, is uh, it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make, you're still gonna, um, uh, you're still gonna kill the boss. Uh, it really, like, 
Hang on. Let me do this and this. And he seems to be resisting my pestilence casts a whole lot. So it can be kind of hard for me to refresh my diseases. But again, not really a problem. Run out. Run out. Here we go, dancing rune weapon. Um, most melee classes have a minus 30% threat modifier just built into their class, like Rogue. And, like, uh, Warriors in Berserker Stance or something, I think, have it also. It's not explained in a lot of places. I, I Like, it's not explained anywhere for Rogue. You just have to know that. I, I'm, I would guess that maybe Feral Druid doesn't have that. Uh, they were talking about threat generation uh, on my voice, so I, I had to, I had to give give him a little tip. I have to say DK because having mana can cause problems. Yeah, this this class is great. I don't really even know what I'm doing, and it's great, and I never lose. And yeah, we're gonna get a Thunder Fury, obviously. Run out. Thankfully, as a th as a warrior, <laughs> threat is never a problem. True, because your damage is on par with the tank. True, until you have a three target cleave fight, and then your class actually pops off. Okay, Baron Geddon is down. Let's look at the prediction here. What's it gonna be? Okay, we've got. 15% believers and 85% doubters right now. Uh, seven on the belief side, nine on the doubt side, but the point distribution is 15% to 85%. We're going to close the predictions here. Then we're going to check Baron Geddon. Then we're going to go kill Gar. Then we're going to see if we have any bindings. Okay, closing in five, four, three, two, one, and submissions. Okay, let's see. First one, Baron Geddon, do we have a binding? Oh, I auto-looted. I wasn't didn't mean to auto-loot, actually. Scenarian spalled. If you auto-loot, you can't juice it for extra suspense. Okay, uh, Scenarian Spalders, we got those. Okay, Fellheart shoulder pads. Uh, okay, don't worry. We'll get we'll get one from Gar. We'll get it from Gar. Don't worry, you guys. Windy, how's it going? I'm trying to get Thunder Fury for my Death Knight so I can do big DPS. When I finally get Thunder Fury, I'll start playing this character in more serious raids. You know, when I have an actually good weapon. Look, I'm telling you, the web sim doesn't properly assess Thunder Fury. And you know why that is? That's not even cap. You know why that is? It's because they removed the option for Adamantite Sharpening Stone, which is something you can put on Thunder Fury, but you can't put on modern weapons. So when the sim tells me using Thunder Fury is a 300 DPS loss, it's actually overestimating the DPS loss, and it's probably only like 250 DPS loss. Come on. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. Death striking for big 
self-healing. Do music is pumping. Pestilence, let's go with the diseases. Blood strike. I get enough runic power for dancing rune weapon, but unfortunately rune strike is bound into my death strike ability. And uh, that just triggers way too often and I can never accumulate enough energy. Or not energy, runic power, whatever. It's energy as far as I'm concerned. You don't have any classes to apply 20% attack speed reduction debuff, Thunder Fury is bis. That's true! That's true! Thunder Fury does provide the minus 20% attack speed debuff. Yeah, but what if I'm, uh, what if I use a build that doesn't press Icy Touch? Uh, Windy, are there any, are there any of those? I'm trying to justify things here. Tell me, please, that there's a, a Death Knight build that doesn't even want to press, um, I, I can't even keep that up. Never mind. I can't. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I can take talent points out of the improved uh, Icy Touch talent. Then use the Thunder Fury to give the 20% uh, instead of the lower version. That's how we justify it. We'll get three extra combo point or talent points. <laughs> Wait, my chat window. There we go. I didn't have the chat window in the correct place on this character. Okay. Do, 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 do. Almost got him. Almost got him. We probably could do this in Blood Presence, honestly. It's kind of a bitch move to go into Frost Presence. One day, when I stop needing to do 10 mans on all of my rogues, we might start sending this guy to uh, GDKPs. Okay. Final boss is dead. Gar, Gar, uh, Geddon defied us this week. Geddon has defied us yet again. Left us without the Geddon binding. But Gar, he's gonna hook us up this time. Trust. Core of Earth, Essence of Earth, Deep Rock Salt, Lava Core, Night Slayer Cover, Giant Stalker Helmet. There is one more page of loot right here. Let's. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Next next week for sure. Ne we'll get it next week. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get it next week. Next week, we might as well just... We might as well go to Black Temple... Or, sorry. Blackwing Lair right now to start farming the Elementium. That's how guaranteed it is to, have, to get both bindings next week, guys. Trust. Okay? Trust me. Okay, now, this hunter sword, I mean, true, but also yikes. <laughs> Two Scenarian Spalders. We should just collect all of the Molten Core loot and see how many copies of different things we can get. <laughs> I've been vendoring it mostly, but I've got a lot of bank space I could put this all into. What item is it you're farming for? The Bindings of the Windseeker. So we can get Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. It's a legendary, so it's good. Automatically. Uh, okay. 
Just start a spreadsheet for all the MC loot and tick boxes every time I uh, <laughs> get another Arcanist mantle. Or a seal of the Archmages. Damn. Uh, okay, next week next week for sure. Okay, so that's going to be it for today, you guys. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be uh, Ulduar Tenman on Combat Rogue uh, around noon. And then we're going to do some Diablo 4. I might actually start the stream early, do Diablo 4, then Raid, then more Diablo. I, I haven't decided yet, but for sure we're doing Ulduar 10 uh, around noon. And then Saturday is another Old War 10. These are both going to be GDKP raids. Uh, the Saturday one is going to be on Assassination Rogue. And then finally Sunday is going to be GDKP Old War 25 on Assassination Rogue. And this is like the super juicer group. All hard modes, Algalon, zero light every week. Two weeks in a row, nothing good has dropped for us. Uh, we've got like over gold cap looking to spend on intruder shoulders pendulum of infinity solar bindings comets trail or blade twister we just need to see any of those five good items and we'll drop some mad coin and pick up a good uh good upgrade okay uh so yeah i, I will thank you guys thank you guys for the support i i appreciate you guys for being here uh let's find someone else on twitch to host and while I do that, I'm also going to plug the VODs channel on YouTube. Let's see. Oh, shit. What is Bobka doing? World Tour Saturday? Oh, shit. Bobka's doing... Oh, I think he's playing hardcore right now. Okay, let's host Bobka. Or raid. Bobka. Alright. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Let's send this over to Bobka. He's doing some hardcore rogue right now. He's playing horde. Filthy hordes. See ya.